Hey YouTube, it's Mr. Fouse Hunters back. In uh, my last video, I did a review on a couple of knives. One of them was the, the Buck Extract. And it's this, this one here. This is one's called the Buck Extract Essential. And this one's in blue. And this one had this, the knife. Uh, it's got scissors. Nice pair of scissors and the screwdrivers on this side. And it also comes with a pocket clip. I think I mentioned that I was going to get the other one, which is the bigger brother to this. So it finally came in today. And this one's called the Extract Fin. I think this is more for fishing. And this is the case it comes Well, actually, this is the box it came in comes in a big box it's really bigger a lot bigger than the knife but I guess they use this box for other things uh, yeah the box wasn't all beat up like this but I dropped it on accident I guess the weight inside crushed it a little bit it didn't hurt anything inside so because it's in this nice padded sheath so actually comes with a pretty nice sheath you can wear it on a belt there, or you could uh, attach these points, I guess, to molly webbing or something like that. But, uh, got some nice padding in there. Nice slap snap closure. Now, this one I got in black, and this is called the Extract Fin. The Bigger Brother. And something I noticed that's different on this one from this one is that the scales on the blue one feel uh harder like plastic or something like that or, or something like you know i'm not sure maybe i think it's just a hard plastic of some sort but it has a pretty grippy texture to it so but now on this one the scales feel rubberized i mean there's there it's a lot more secure of a grip Cause it's just more it's got that rubbery feel that gets more traction to it and there's one other model other than this one that has an led light right here where my finger is thumb is right there so i'm not probably going to get that one but anyway this one has the same i believe it's yeah three inch drop point blade and for some reason this one came sharper than the blue one this one's real sharp and on this side you've got your your uh Number two Phillips. And it locks in the center. Flip around, you've got your, I think it said 3 16th inch screwdriver. So that's on that side. Then and it does still have the scissors, which I like. But let's see, I believe these are smaller. Let me find these here. I think they're smaller than on the yep they're smaller than the one on the blue knife i guess that's to because they had to add another tool on that side so anyway if you want the bigger scissors i suggest you get the blue one and if you need a pocket clip too if you'd rather just clip it instead of carrying on a belt sheath but they work the same it's got that same spring over there. But these are nice too, you know. They're still pretty good size. All right, put that up. All right, here's the new feature that this one has that the other one doesn't have on the other side with the knife. Is this set of pliers. You push them forward from the back. And if you see this button here, it'll lock when it opens. You heard it click right then, and that's that's when it'll release and let you use it. These are spring loaded, and it says it'll cut wire up to 12 gauge. Those are the wire cutters right there. So they're a pretty nice set of pliers, and it, and there's no wiggle in them. I mean, they feel good. They're this is stout, and as you can see, actually this one's a lot thicker. Not a lot thicker. It's a it's a little bit thicker than the blue one. You put them side by side it's a little bit thicker now personally if they could have put a clip on this one that would have been sweet 
So, Buck, if you're listening, <laughs> if it's possible, you know, throw us a clip, throw us a pocket clip. But then, to bring these back, push that button down, push them back, and you slide it back. And then it'll pop again when it, I think. Nope, it didn't pop it. When you open it, it pops anyway. It clicks into place. But you do have to push that down to, to pull them back in. But yeah, this one's got a better grip in my opinion. I like that black rubber. And it's still got the buck in one. And it still has the big lanyard hole. I think the lanyard holes are the same on these. Let me see. Yeah, they look the same. So, I like the blue one. And I like the uh, black one too. Like I said, this one just needs a pocket clip and it would be about perfect. But yeah, just wanted to throw this out there. This is the it, the 730, the Buck 732 Extract Fin, F-I-N. So, if you're interested in this one. Oh, and one other thing. This sheath comes with this. A little pocket diamond sharpener. And so you've got the groove for fish hooks and stuff like that. You could do darts or whatever you want to do on it. And it says Buck Knives on the other side. And it's even got a little lanyard if you want to put it on a keychain. So I thought that was a nice little addition to it. I think I'll slide it in that way. I mean, you could probably stick something else in there. You could probably stick a fair. Well, you might be able to stick a thin fair rod in there. I don't know. It might not shut too good with a thick one, but. Or you could put some matches down there or whatever the heck you wanted to do. But yeah, and then it just slides right back down in the sheath. Snaps real easy, no problems. And there you have that one. So both of them are great value. I mean, neither one of them was over 30. <laughs> uh, outstanding knives, Buck. I give you I give you credit. You're doing it right now. Uh, anyway, just thought you might like this. And uh, y'all have a good week. And I'll talk to you next time. Take care.